everybody, it's Leonie from Stampalate. I want to show you today how to make these cute little cards. They're very quick, very easy using the, um, the Retro Fresh journaling tags. They come in a little pack like that and you get a heap of tags in there. Okay, um, and plus the wooden embellishments which are these little things here. I'll just open up my packet. Alright, so you've got little speech bubbles, you've got the starbursts. Is that you've got circles, you've got little banners as well, you've got hearts, um, you've got these little chevrons in there, plus there's some itty bitty triangles that you can see just down in there too. So just want to show you these and how you can use them on your cards and how you can make a really quick and a really easy card using these things. The papers that I've used today, the base cards are soft suede and the um, designer series paper is from the retro fresh pack which is absolutely lovely and awesome to me so these just came in the um, the journaling pack and this one here I've just colored one of the hearts in strawberry slush and the arrow there that one's done in um, daffodil delight and I've used up all my little pearls that you always have left over these are the ones that all come together stuck together in the one one row on your sheets of basic pearls and I've just snipped use my paper snips snip in between the um, in between each one and then I've just taken them out they are always the ones that I have left over so I thought oh cool okay you don't have to put the pearls on if you don't want to you can just there's like actually little dots underneath there which was good for placing my pearls evenly so yeah so that's that one. That's the happy birthday to you. This one here says, girl, you are fabulous. Now, I was originally going to put my little chevrons down in this little arrow here to point to fabulous. And it wasn't until I was making the card that I actually saw that it's got seriously there. So that's why I wanted to point them there to um, highlight that little bit there. So quick and easy with a couple of dimensionals behind a layer. This has got Coastal Cabana behind the, um, the greeting panel there. So I'm just going to show you, here's one of the Starburst little wooden elements. I've just stamped this greeting from the Starburst sayings on there in the um, Bermuda Bay. And then I've just sponged around the edge with crushed curry. Okay, so and there's the little heart decoration. That's your th thanks in a million that comes in your journaling tags pack. I've just layered that onto So Saffron. And put some dimensionals on the back. I've used um, one of the corners there, just cut a chunk out because you can use the edges of those as well. Okay, so let's get started. That's your base card in the soft suede. Okay, so we'll just grab our snail. I'm just going to. You don't need to fill in the complete back of your card. I just do like strips in the corner and one in the middle to be sure. Pop him on top. And of course, I need to move that down a little bit so we get a nice even border, top and bottom, around the edge, there we go. Okay, and then just peeling off the backs of your dimensionals. Now if you have a problem with getting these backs off, all you need to do is press in the middle with one of your fingernails, your thumb probably works the best. Right, and that'll just pop the edges up so it lifts up very, very easily. So. Okay. So I'll pop him there. I'm just going to do it on a slight angle, I think. Yep. Slight angle. Okay. Now when you're popping these on your cards, you are going to need to use the, um, the Tombow multi-purpose glue okay I'll just show you how I colored the little heart okay and all I did this is just a strawberry slush I just popped it on the ink pad pressed it down then lifted it up and there you have your little strawberry heart okay so I'll just put some glue on here now you're going to see how I tried to 
I'm just going to put this, there's the top there, a little bit of glue there, just like that, because I just want it to hook over the, um, the end of here. Okay, and that, once that glue dries, that'll be perfect. And that, you can wait for your um, heart to dry or you can blast it with your um, heat gun as well. So I'm just going to pop it straight down and hopefully I don't get ink all over the card. Don't put too much glue on the back of these because if you do, you're going to get glue all over your card. So I just want a little bit on my heart like that, hanging off the edge. And there is, oh look at that, I didn't get red ink all over the card. There is your completed Thanks a Million card. So they make awesome, quick and easy cards. I've also used some of these tags in my recipe journal, which I will show you in a few days for that one. So that's just got, thank you very much. Down the bottom, you can put like a little Don Monte down there if you really wanted to. And um, <clears throat> quick, easy card. Thanks for stopping by.